this right here which is the shampoo again I'm doing a protein oriented wash routine this week I cannot get away from these sirens I swear to God oh man so anyway with <laughs> with my uh, shampoo this Jamaican black castor oil uh, shampoo think of it as a shampoo that is good for if you want to do a protein treatment wash routine so think of this Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore shampoo as good for your wash routines when you want to focus on protein treatment and a protein treatment again is something that you want to do if you have high porosity hair or if your hair is damaged and it's not retaining moisture because what this will do is that it will fill those gaps in your hair strands with temporary hydrolyzed protein keratin and that will help to retain moisture in your hair so what you want to do is deep condition your hair with that and I'm going to use that shampoo and oh yeah instead of rambling let me tell you what the uh, pH level the pH level of the shampoo is a 6.25 and there it is you know if you measure this against the box it is clear that is definitely a 6.25 and that is okay it is in the safe range which is water is the highest you want your pH level to go if you are being natural and you don't want to damage your hair water is a pH level of 7 and then from there your products need to go down shampoo is below water and so forth rinse out conditioner leave-in conditioner and your cream that you use to twist your hair so I'm starting off with my shampoo after I finish my shampoo I will do the deep conditioning protein treatment I'm going to measure that pH and let you know what that is okay let me finish my shampoo and I'll move on to the rinse out conditioner okay see you in a bit sorry it's hot but okay so I just finished washing my hair with the Jamaican black castor oil shampoo from Shea Moisture and now I'm going to move on to doing my deep conditioning rinse out conditioner and I'm using for the first time this 100% uh, extra virgin coconut oil and shea butter and this is geared towards me doing a protein treatment wash routine this particular week um, I am confident that this is somewhat geared towards that because one of the top ingredients in this uh, product is hydrolyzed keratin and carrot or hydrolyzed keratin keratin is a protein our hair is 90 percent keratin so this is something that is going to be a temporary fix that sticks to my cuticle layer and will help to retain moisture in my hair now before I put this on I'm going to measure the pH of it and see what it is so I've already already tried to open it and it's pretty tough so I'm just going to use some scissors so take some scissors I'm pretty sure they got this probably in a bottle or something but I saw this on the at the drugstore and I was curious to see what it's like and I didn't want to buy a big old bottle of this until I tried it out first so this is me just trying it out and if I like it I will get a bigger size of this product so let's go ahead and I'm going to measure the pH using a pH strip here and what I do is I'm just going to simply dip it in there into the product, hold it for 15 seconds, 1011, 1012, 
13, 14, 15. Okay, so that is done. Let's see if it will read. Okay, I need to take my glasses off and compare it to the graph that's on the back of this package. Okay, so in testing the pH of this particular product, I did it three times because I felt like it wasn't reading. But um, yeah, so in testing it, it looks like the um, hair product is on the low end of the pH range, like a 4.5. So that's really low. So that means that your cuticle layers are gonna be affected in a downward motion, which is a good thing. This conditioner is gonna go into your hair strands and the cuticle layer is going to lay flat. And also, because it has keratin in the product, that is also going to help or aid in adding protein to your hair, which remember your hair is 90% protein called keratin this is consists of keratin so that's going to be added keratin to your hair so it's going to make your hair fuller and also help to retain moisture so let me go ahead and put this on and I really wish I had bought two packs but I only have one pack and I'm just going to start with this and uh, yeah so let's slop it on luckily I don't have a, a long hair or a lot of hair and ooh, ooh, you can really smell this. The shea butter and the coconut oil, you can really smell it. It smells like a tropical, has a really tropical smell to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this, put this all over my hair. And remember with conditioner, you do not put it on your scalp. You just put it on your hair strands and especially the ends of your hair because that's the oldest part of your hair. Because what we're doing with conditioner is moisturizing our hair strands. And don't put it on your scalp because all you're going to do is stop up your scalp and your follicles and that's what you don't want to do. So let me go ahead and put this on my hair have it on my hair for about five to seven minutes so it can soak in and then I'll rinse it out and proceed on with the rest of my um, wash routine okay but as far as the smell on this oh you know what let me part my hair in four sections it really does help to part your hair in four sections because especially when you have a limited supply of product okay I'll do the back off camera but you get the gist I am putting this protein treatment on my hair and I will let you know how it feels um, later but yeah as far as putting it on there's not a lot of slippage I've, I'm still my hair tangles up at the ends whereas with other conditioners it hasn't compared to other conditioners I've used it hasn't but as far as the feel of it it's an oil feels like a real oil type cream a mixture of oil and cream I smell the coconut butter and the excuse me I smell the coconut oil as well as the shea butter so it should be doing a really good job as accessing my cuticle layer because the pH of this particular product is a 4.5 Okay, I'll do the rest off camera, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have it all over in my hair, and I'm going to put a plastic bag on my head and wear that for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll rinse it out and proceed on with the rest of my wash routine. So again, with this particular wash routine, the products that I use that I've never used before was the rinse out conditioner because I am doing a protein treatment and the reason I use the shampoo I use is because it is a protein treatment oriented shampoo so let's see how it affects my hair okay I'm back with my plastic bag I've had it on for 10 minutes okay a lot longer than that about 15 20 minutes and now I'm about to take it off rinse out this rinse out 
rinse out this deep conditioner and then move on with the rest of my wash routine. I will come back and let you know what I think of it and actually um, what I think of the product. But also I'm curious a couple of days down the road when my hair is dry, I want to see and let you know how my hair has responded to this particular wash routine. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.